Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is a BAM Credit Insights video about the Connecticut Baby Bonds Trust. I'm here by Ke with Kevin Roberts, Vice President in BAM's East Region Public Finance Group, who worked on the transaction. Kevin, thanks for taking some time to talk about this one. Hey, Mike. A little bit interesting here because we're not talking about the sale of new bonds. It's about repurposing uh, money that was raised in previous transactions. So let's take a step back and talk about um, how the what a debt service reserve fund insurance policy is, how it works, and, and why it made sense in this transaction. Sure. So uh, a debt service reserve fund policy is a, a tool that BAM offers uh, to enhance uh, the uh, security for a, a bond issue. Uh, typically, we see it on um, you know revenue deals to to support uh, volatility in a revenue stream dedicated to to repay principal and interest on a bond. This is a unique circumstance. Uh, the bonds that have the surety here are a 2008 uh, pension obligation bond issued by the state of Connecticut. Uh, the original proceeds for the for that issuance was uh, used to help support the unfunded liabilities of the teachers retirement system for the state of Connecticut um, and during a 2019 restructure of the teachers retirement system uh, led by the state of Connecticut they were required legislatively to improve or enhance the the bond um, security for bondholders uh, in doing so they required a debt service reserve fund uh, to be put into place to enhance and, and protect bondholders a little bit more. Uh, that was originally funded with $381 million in cash and subsequently replaced with a debt service reserve fund surety uh, implemented by BAM. And so if there's any interruption, BAM will make the payments, but then BAM has the opportunity to recover that payment from the state. What's the So when you're approaching it from a credit underwriting perspective, what's the credit uh, behind the re replenishment if, if sure. we're ever drawn? Sure. So first and foremost, uh, you know, as mentioned, this is a little bit unique. This is a general obligation, full faith and credit pledge of the state of Connecticut. Um, in terms of enhancing the, the security even further, uh, the state did require legislatively to um, for the Connecticut Lottery Corporation to also step in and transfer funds if there were to be a shortfall in debt service payments on the 2008 bonds. So if there were to be a shortfall or a mispayment, the reserve fund would kick in and, and make the and complete the payment of the the principal and interest and then subsequently any um, funds coming from the Connecticut Lottery Corporation which historically have been used to subsidize the state's general fund would instead be used to repay the the debt service reserve fund and it's important to distinguish this from bond insurance and in that uh, BAM's commitment to the bondholders is just for the amount of the debt service reserve fund the full bond issue is not necessarily insured that's correct and this so is, this is sized at max annual debt service of the 2008 bonds through the final maturity of the bonds. And so the bonds don't carry BAM's AA rating, they have the uh, AA minus rating for the state of Connecticut. That's correct. So we've talked about the sources of funds and where the money's coming from. Now let's talk about the uses of funds because this is a first of the uh, of its kind initiative in the US. It's uh, the Connecticut Baby Bonds Program. What is the state doing here? Sure, yeah, this is a, an exciting initiative uh, within the state. Uh, led by Treasurer Russell and, and Governor Lamont. Um, so it's, it's been in work for several years now. Uh, they've been trying to, to establish the, the funding to, to move forward with this uh, trust fund initiative. Um, in May of this year, 2023, um, the governor, um, the treasurer, and the legislature all came to an agreement to use the, the funds that were previously set aside in the debt service reserve fund for the 2008 bonds uh, as the Kickstarter for this initiative. Um, and they used the insurance policy from BAM, the debt service reserve fund surety, to free up that cash and allow them to move forward with this initiative. And in the absence of that initiative, they were intending to sell as many as $600 million of bonds. And it's just worth noting, like this is something that we see fairly often in terms of debt service reserve fund uh, insurance policies, freeing up cash that's then used to reduce total debt outstanding, uh, saving money for, for stakeholders and taxpayers that way. It's one of the, the major uses for this program. That's correct. Um, so talk about a little bit, if you could just talk about a little bit how the baby bonds work. So it's, it's focused, as I understand it, on any baby born in the state of Connecticut who's uh, currently eligible for the Medicaid program, they call it the Husky program in Connecticut. Um, what do they get? Sure. So every uh, child that is, is born um, from now on, uh, you know, going forward um, as part of the, the state's Medicaid program, there will be a deposit made uh, for that child. Uh, the first payments from the state will be made in 18 years when that child becomes 18 years old, uh, and they'll receive a, a lump sum of money uh, you know, upon eligibility. 
and that will be used for, for various purposes uh, to, to spur economic development. It can be used for education, it can be used for housing uh, to start a, a local business, um, but it's used to um, you know, try and solve economic disparity within the state. And of course, uh, in the Northeast, where there's been some out-migration of people, gives uh, people another reason to stay in the state of Connecticut. Exactly. Uh, my understanding is you can only get the money if you're still living there when you turn 18. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. It's a long-term pro uh, project, a long-term experiment, but something that's uh, really innovative, and it was uh, interesting to be a part of it. Uh, so congratulations on the transaction, and uh, thanks for watching.